lot of people in Des Moines know that if you're looking for delicious food and a darn good time, you go to the B&B Deli. Steve Carlin joins us live from Southeast 6th and Hartford. Steve, we also hear they've got celebrity sightings going on there, too. It's true, Stacy. Now, big-time foodies are flocking here because of interest created on the Internet. Welcome to BB. It was right around 3 p.m. on Wednesday. Things were busy as usual at the B&B on Des Moines' southeast side, when through the crowd of familiar faces, Joe Brooks noticed an unfamiliar pair of people. I asked the girl, I go, where are you from? She goes, New York. I go, but I know who that is. She goes, yeah, he's with, you know. You know who it was? He wore a paper hat and everything. Big-time Food Network star Alton Brown. He said that his uh, fans... Emailed him uh, with a surge of go to B&B. Brown was in town. He's got a pretty uh, contagious personality, you know. For a one-night show at the Civic Center. People were just saying, hey, you got to go to the Killer Zone. You got to go check it out. The Killer Zone is the Brooks Brothers' creation. Double cheeseburger. The boys, along with Silent Sister Jolene, serve killer sandwiches, but they do not advertise. Where are you from? The B&B depends on word of mouth, which is somehow spread by mouths. That are always satisfyingly full. Our Facebook is is monster, you know. I, I think it's really it's a fun site. It wasn't Facebook or any other internet inspired interest, but Brown and his Civic Center show who brought the B and B its first customers of the day. Couldn't wait to get here. Uh, the entire crowd burst into applause when Alton mentioned B and B grocery. After hearing Alton, I mean, it, you had to come. He he couldn't say enough about it. Brown is now the third. Food TV dude to drop in. All these celebrities stopping by could have possibly spoiled the humble BNB. I think it just makes BNB that much more uh, elaborate, fun, elaborate, good, elaborate where I want to be. <laughs> I don't think anything could ruin this. <laughs> Now, Alton Brown really loved B&B's tenderloin. In fact, he even used it in an onstage cooking demonstration. I'm told he made a pizza with it, and people just loved it. And if you've ever been through the door here, you know that they treat everybody like a celebrity at B&B Market. Reporting live, Steve Carlin, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.